It's a way of structuring what you offer your audience in logical bite-sized steps that make them really excited and willing to take that next step. So in its most general form, we're going to say that the lowest price products are the lowest part of the offer and the highest price products are the top of the offer pyramid. And why this is shaped like a pyramid, because there's a lot more people who are going to buy your lowest dollar items than there are people buying your upsells. And there's a lot more people who are going to buy these than those who buy your ultimate high ticket products. Okay. Now these don't all have to be, um, paid. So I'll show you an example where some of these can be free. There are freemium ways to run this, but the core idea at like level one, where we're at here so far is that you want to build your content together in a way you want to build your offerings in a way that was a terrible pyramid. Y'all I got to Come on, let's have some respect here with the art miles. There we go. You want to build your offer in a way that your first step is the most mass market friendly item. Item, okay, this is going to be the most uh, kind of interesting and the best option for the largest segment of your audience. And then you get into more specifics. And after they take this action, that's when they see this second piece. And then folks who take that action, they're the ones who see this piece. Now, generally speaking, these are going to be I'm going to say from free to about $97 on the front end. Some would argue that this is free to about $47 on the front end. So somewhere in that range is this lower level. So we'll call this zero to 47. Now here we're going to go just above that. So if, if it's $48 here, and this is going to go up to about 297. And then here we're going to do the $300 plus, but ultimately, honestly, this is for like the 1k, the 3k, the 5k stuff. And I'm going to show you real world examples of how this works in my actual business that I'm running. So you can see how these work. But one of the kind of ways of looking at this is this is your tripwire. Okay. This is your core offer. And then this is some sort of coaching. This could be events. It could be masterminds. It could be a lot of things, but the real kind of easy way to structure this mentally is potentially an ebook that gives them a specific outcome. Then there's the video course, and then there's the get on the phone with me and let me help you make sure you've implemented this pr correctly so you can get the desired result that you want. And again, you can have multiple of these in your business and they can all actual funnel to your highest dollar product. Now, maybe your highest dollar product is actually a 10 K in-person workshop. Sorry about that. I just moved my screen around. Let me get that back. So maybe your, your highest ticket thing is a 10 K in-person three day implementation workshop, but maybe your people might come in wanting to know about Facebook ads. They might want to know about funnels and they might want to know about YouTube ads. So you could potentially have a separate offer pyramid for each of these topics. But what actually is happening is they're paying to go further and deeper in your funnel to get on your list, to get the potential to join you in one of your three day, um, deep dive implementation implementation workshops, whether that's a three grand or a five grand or a 10 grand type of in-person event, et cetera. And it goes on and on. So let's map these out. Let's, uh, we're going to go through a few of them. Now, if you jumped on the opportunity to get the course craft course, which is now closed, um, I'm going to show you one that works with that first and foremost. Okay. So, um, the course craft, I'm calling this the signature course approach. Now there are still a couple ways. There's always a few ways to design your business here, but what we're going to do on this one, and we're going to look at what Shane did in his. So down here, this is going to be the opt-in. So remember I said that you can do this with a free level. So the opt-in can be, um, free video reveals, and that video could actually be your video sales letter. So the first step, the most mass market idea is teaching a secret in a video that also kind of transitions into offering your product at the end of that video. Then your product is the 197 product here. That's what you're creating inside of that course. If you jumped on that opportunity, and then you have this next level and you don't need to have this next level figured out out before you get started. But it's something to keep in mind that you can offer a done with you. There can be a done for you. And this is the DIY. Okay. So for 197, they're going to learn your process, your method, your thing. They're going to learn your way of getting the result that they want. But if they want your help to do it with you in a small group, or if they want you and your team to do it for you, that's where you can charge thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars for sure. But for many 
kind of many businesses, many products, many services, you could charge thousands of dollars. Let's say this is for, um, let's say this is in the copywriting world. And the first one might be a free opt-in for some copywriting tips that they're going through. Okay. So the first one is tips and that's free. The second one is the 197 course, which is, let's say that's the, um, how to make an OTO page. And then right here is I'll write it for you. And that would be a $3,000 product essentially. Right. Or there can be a workshop where you take a small group of people through the process over the course of eight weeks. Also, you know, getting up into that multi-thousand dollar thing. So if you're building that course out, that's great. All of these components. And one of the truths in business is that everything gets built one step at a time, right? Like there's no way to ever go create all of the components all at the same time. So if you're in the weeds on this, if you're really deep diving in this, great, you're right where you need to be. I'm just offering you a, a smidgen of perspective about where this path could be going so you can maximize what's going on. And Shane, in the course that, that you just got at Quartzcraft, if you got it, um, his free level were three, pro, were three video trainings, which was essentially module zero. He explained that inside the course. And then the main course was 297. And then he's got his membership program for all of his software beyond that which is something like $197 per year. Um, that's how he personally structured it. And on that idea, let's talk about a membership funnel. Now I've got videos on my channel teaching this membership funnel that we've been running for years and years and years. I have made over a million dollars selling memberships over the years and my students have made even more than that. So how does this work in a membership model? So here we have the dollar trial, then we have a $37 per month option, and then we have the $197 upsell for the annual. So I can go forth and I can advertise a $1 trial for my membership. This would be a seven day trial, by the way, is what I would do here. So I give them seven days. It's $1 after they purchase the dollar, I'm giving them the option in a one click upsell video to purchase the annual membership. And if they don't, it reverts back to the $37 per month. I also do promote the $37 per month uh, directly to traffic often. So I'm not always only promoting the $1, but essentially the $1 a day turns into $37 a month after seven days, they get the opportunity to buy a 197 annual upsell, which uh, if you do the math, I think this is like 450 bucks. So it's a really big discount, right? It's like a 60% discount if they buy annual at that time. This converts really well. This funnel just continues to chug along and it does what it's supposed to do. And again, we're following the offer pyramid structure. And that's a big part of why this works. Um, the next one I want to talk about is a low ticket. And the example for this is around my socialadclass.com website, which is my Facebook course. So the topic here and on that last membership, one of the examples on that is like meditation. So my wife has like a meditation membership, for example. Okay. So on this one, this is my social ad class um, website, and I've got a few different front end products that we're fiddling with, but the one that's working best is a $7 swipe file, okay? Then there's a bump offer that is for uh, seven templates. I think we're selling it at $27 or $37. I don't actually know because my ad guy's doing the testing and working on that directly. And then of course we have the full price course. Um, the full price is $4.95 for the course. Um, we do run it at special prices sometimes uh, on, on, short turn, on short turnaround times or um, we're doing some marketing testing on that. But ultimately this is it, okay? So we go forth and we advertise a $7 swipe file. Now this is just a PDF document. This is, that's all it is, is a PDF document where we did a deep dive study of over a thousand Facebook ads. This was for me and my team. And then I was like, wow, I could just package this and offer it. Cause I think a lot of other people would love to know these ads that I, I review that I trust that I, that these people who've created, you know, really high converting ads that have been working for seven months, 12 months. Some of these ads have been working for years. Um, so I offered it for sale. This is a video where we walk through several of them. We kind of pulled out what were the seven major, I think it was seven, it might've been five, but I think it was the seven major templates based out of the 1000 ads that we studied. Um, so it's kind of like summarizing all of this and it went into a video format. So we've changed the format at this point is one of the big ideas here. And then this is a full video course. I think it's like 32 module or 32 lessons, a bunch of different modules. This is the full, we're going to take you by your hand, uh, get you running Facebook ads from, from step one, step two, step three. Some people buy just this, right? The most amount of people buy this. That's why it's the largest part of the pyramid. Some of the people, about 30% purchase this one here. And then even less people purchase this one up here. The offers are always there for everyone, but it's the way I structure it because 
on Facebook ads, when I'm running Facebook ads, this $7 offer is way higher converting than if I just ran straight to this offer here. Now it's worth saying that on this exact same website and on this exact same brand, I have a different offer pyramid that I've been testing. So I have a free video and then I go straight to, um, an upsell here. I believe it's 297 for the one-time offer on it here. And I don't really have this here, um, built into the funnel, but this would be my mastermind. Okay. And so my mastermind, I've done several abundant circle events. They're usually 3000 to $5,000 each. The next ones will probably be more. I haven't been doing them since travel's kind of gotten shut down, but I rent a big mansion. I fly out private chefs and I bring together a bunch of uh, multi-million dollar business owners. So, so the people I'm going to invite into my 3k to 5k event that might actually be a 10k event. Next time I do it, we, we charter a yacht for a day. Like it's, it's over the top. It's a really special experience. Um, it's going to be these people. I'm going to sell it to the people who bought this. Cause if someone only took the free step and they didn't buy to invest in improving their Facebook ads, I'm not going to market it to them. If they only bought the $7 thing, they're not going to hear about this. The only people who are going to get invited are people who I know are committed to getting that slight edge to buying the course, to get the one or two or three or five tips in there to scale their Facebook ads, right? Those are the people I'm going to invite to my inner circle mastermind. So that's how it can work in that sense. Um, another one that I've got, let's, that's the low ticket. We did the membership. Yeah, the freemium. So uh, the freemium one, we maybe covered this specifically, but let me go through it one more time just in case. So the freemium one, this is where the bulk of our customer list comes from. So we give a free thing, okay? This is a uh, free ting mon free thing. So this is, you know, generally going to be a PDF or an MP3. And then we upsell something here. So for my best performing ones, this is a $27 upsell has just, man, I've tested it down to 17, 47, all the way up to 97, but that $27 for my niche. And this is not in the marketing. This is in the spirituality and this is my main business. And then we have an upsell on that for $97. Okay. And they see all of this in one shot. Now we have products that go as high as for uh, 695 excuse me, $695. Um, that's our highest ticket product here, but we've got a bunch of, uh, 400, 250, et cetera. And guess who buys these higher ticket products? It's people who buy all of our other stuff. Okay. <clears throat> excuse me. And the cool part about this low ticket style to building out an offer pyramid is I can go advertise a free thing. And guess what? On Facebook or YouTube ads or Pinterest ads or on my blog with a pop-up, when I'm offering when I'm offering a free thing, more people take action. Surprise, surprise. There's more people interested in free stuff than there are paid stuff. But I want to sort out the individuals who are willing to invest in furthering themselves. I want to sort out the individuals, the persona types who buy digital downloadable products and who buy courses. The e-learning world is like $160 billion a year, $150 billion a year kind of world. Okay. So I want to sort my list from the free people to the people who actually pay money. And guess what? These folks see more often offers because these folks have proven that they're willing to pay money. These folks don't always pay money, but they'll see other offers and they'll see affiliate offers and they generally go down different paths. And this is really the big idea. Now, if you're building out your courses right now, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, if you didn't get to take, uh, me up and Shane up on the offer for how to build out the course, there is another webinar I can recommend that you can take a look. If you're like, man, I missed the boat. I got it. I really need to figure out how to create courses. Cause I understand that the ability to treat it like Legos right here, where we kind of snap the bits and pieces together. You got your core offer. You test a couple of front end offers. You test like a done with you or a done for you thing. And bingo, you find one of those scalable systems that you could put a thousand dollars a day in and you get 15, 200, 2,500 out and up and up and up it goes. That's how these businesses grow. So there is a link to um, another webinar. This one's from Sam cart. They, they teach their style of creating courses quickly. They're more focused on the lower ticket things, the, the eBooks, those kinds of resources. It's a brilliant course. I've gone through it. It's the software I actually use to uh, run most of my transactions as well. And then final note here, I do want to show you a video. So if this all makes sense, you're like, dude, I love this. I know that this is the path for me where I need to be going next. Um, so on my YouTube channel, so just YouTube, youtube.com slash miles B. You can search with this little search button down below. Um, just search, uh, ATM accelerator. And this is going to show you the ATM accelerator funnel. Now this video right here, uh, it was a premium training. It was inside of my membership for a while. I think it's the most valuable video I've ever done. It really shows the secret of how to link these things together in a different way. So I'm talking about offer pyramids, offer pyramids 
here as well, but I'm using funnel type language. Okay. We're, we're funnel mapping this out to specifically, how do you lay out these products that are inside of your offer pyramid? How do you actually lay them out in a sales funnel? That's this video. Okay. It'll pop up on the end of the video here. Uh, link will be in the description, ATM accelerator video. I think it's one of the most valuable videos I've ever put out here on my channel. That's what I got for you today. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, let me know in the comments, give me a thumbs up, please. I do appreciate the positive feedback and engagement. I'm doing this for dopamine hits, right? Because I'm not selling you anything. I'm doing this for the feel good feeling of helping you. So it really helps me when I know that this stuff is helping. Um, and with that said, I'm going to catch you on the next video. So until we meet again, have a great day, be blessed, and I'll see you on the next video.